So, I was looking online the other day because we have a Steinway Model R coming into the shop and I wasn't actually sure what a Steinway Model R is, so I had a look for that, found it, but while I was looking for that, I came across what is now the tallest upright piano made today, which is a, a Steingraber and Son, which measures to 138 centimeters tall. And that is pretty tall. I mean, when you consider that the Yamaha U3, I think measures at 131 centimeters tall, and that's like considered a, a concert upright. So the Steingraber at 138, that's a tall piano. Um, and at just under 40,000 pounds, it's probably the most expensive upright piano as well. But I thought we've got some tall pianos in the shop. So um, let's see if we've got one that's as tall as the, as the Steingraber. So starting off with this piano here, which is a Bechstein Model 2. Um, so Bechstein uprights originally sort of before 1902, they went one, two, three, four, five, and then after 1902, they sort of had an upgrade and went to six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So a model uh, one is like equivalent to a model seven, and a model five would be equivalent to a model ten. So this is quite an early one. This is a model two, um, which has been fully restored. Uh, so it's been restrung. The action's been fully reconditioned. It's, it's been repolished to how it would originally have been done in a sort of satin black French polish finish as opposed to having a, a sort of modern day polyester finish. Beautiful piece of uh, inlay in the top panel there. Let's see what it measures to. So that measured at 136, so just two centimeters short of the, of the tallest upright made today. So from there, we come down to the Steinway Model R, which, uh, as I say, was the piano I was looking for initially online. Um, this one, again, this, this is a slightly newer version. This one actually dates to 1902. Um, and again, it's, it's been completely restored. Uh, so it's, it's in a beautiful fiddleback mahogany case, which has been repolished. And then again, the inside, it was, was fully reconditioned, I think sort of about five years ago. Um, so restrung, the action's been fully reconditioned. So beautiful piano, uh, lovely Steinway. Let's see what this one measures to. One, 137, so just one centimeter shorter uh, than the tallest piano made today. Um, has these lovely classical legs on it. And strange enough, we just happen to have a stool in the shop which has very similar legs. So that goes together lovely. Right, going back up here again. And here we have a Bechstein Model 7. So actually the 7 is the, the later version of the, of the Model 2. Um, this one dates, what does this one date to? 1924. Um, the, the, the Steinway, by the way, was, was 1902. And the Bechstein Model 2 that we looked at first of all dates to 1889. Uh, this one, I think the case has been probably repolished on this at some point, um, although that could be original. Um, this one hasn't been restored, so th this is in its, its original condition, um, which, which is, is perfectly playable, original ivory keys. Um, the price is considerably lower than, uh, than it would be had it had been reconditioned. So, could this one, could this one do it? Could this one do it? 138, so it is as tall as the newest piano made today, 138. Wait a minute, 
wait a minute. What do we have here? <laughs> here we have a Bechstein model number one. So it's, it's the, the quite an early one. And again, like the model two we've got, this one has been completely and utterly restored. So the case has been repolished um, and it's a beautiful rosewood veneer. And that's pretty much what it would have looked like original originally, which I think was 18, 1895. Um, beautiful, beautiful um, inlay in the top door, which, which is uh, tulips. Uh, it's original sconces on this one as well, which um, perhaps slightly overdo it, but you, you, you can take those off. Um, if, if, if you don't want those on there. It's got some beautiful marquetry in it. Um, and again, fully re restored. It's been restrung. The action's been reconditioned. Original ivory keys again, which are in a lovely condition. So it, it's not had a great deal of, of use in its life. Um, you, you can tell that by the condition of the keys. And if we measure it, we know, we know it's a winner. It's bigger than 138. Uh, and this one actually measures to 147. So a full nine centimeters taller than the tallest piano made today. Dare I say it? How about that? <laughs>